Fire in the hole! Just one left. What's up, everybody? This is your boy J Hyde, and welcome back to the channel, y'all. And y'all see it? We're playing State of the K2 Juggernaut Edition. Now we're doing something a little different today. This is going to be a well, actually, we're going to cover update 33. Heart attack infestations. That's what we're covering today. Now, this episode is going to be different than what I usually do. This is basically going to be about first impressions, slightly a bit of a review, but it's going to be in the real world view. Now, what I mean by real world view is that I'm actually just going to play this naturally and let the game throw things at me as it may, whatever it is. OK, so we're going to jump into this. This is my main community here. This is uh, on Dread Zone difficulty. Um, this community is pretty well off, so, you know, it won't be too much of a challenge. We're not starting from scratch, but uh, we're going to we're currently on Providence Ridge and we're going to head on over to Meager. So without further ado. Let's jump in, y'all. Okay, so as y'all see, we are on the Meager Valley map. We are right next to a play card. We are trying to claim, I think it's Whitney or Whitley Field. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have that right or not. But as you can see, we are right here by a play card. We just killed one zombie. Still nothing. Play card still chilling. Play card still tucked in. Oh, oh, I didn't even see this dude. Did he come through the window? All right, so right now, we're really... We're really testing the theory here. Okay. Well, we right next to a play card. We killed about four zombies. Nothing. We didn't even. The play card's not even stirring. I gotta make this quick. So that's a good sign. That's a good sign. That it's not too sensitive. You don't wake the play card too easy. Now that woke. <laughs> woke the play card. Okay. So obviously, play cards are gonna wake up when you attack it. I mean, that's that's nothing new. You know, okay, this guy. All right, let me let me reload, bro. Oh. As y'all can see, I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. Chill out, bro. All right, let me let me get some room. All right, let me reload. Come on, bro, chill. Come on, bro. Get this bro. I feel like this bro is quicker than normal. Come on, bro. Let me let me do this. Let me do this. Got his ass now. All I needed was space. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and claim this base. Okay, that's done. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to I need to uh pick somebody's ass out. And it's gonna be Christy. Right? So I brought her in because I needed eight people, obviously, for this base, for those who don't know. Um you need eight people, so I had to recruit her, bring her in. So that I can get this base now, she can get her ass up out of here. I'm sorry. I wish I could have made it work with all these breaks. Mm, she took that rather well. All right, so we're heading on a mission. We are going to take out some hostiles for this uh, young lady here, Meligin. <laughs> I can't see that. Okay, this is the perfect opportunity. All right, we're in plague territory. A jug just went off. He's pissed, and uh, still no waking of the plague heart, as you can see. So. Um, from that standpoint, we can see that it's not so easy to wake a plague heart, which is a good sign. I think they changed that in the, uh, you know, from the PTR earlier when they released it there. So that's good. So some of the ways that you can wake a plague heart is aware zombies. When you kill aware zombies, enough of them, they will wake the plague heart. Obviously, streamers will. Um, right now, I'm going to purposely ride next to this plague heart to see if I can get it to stir. And as you can see... Is still tucked in. Go faster. Okay, Time so we're here. To to um, like I said, we're doing missions naturally, organically. We're gonna get a feel for uh, going into plate territory, killing zombies, killing hostiles. We're not gonna hold back. We're gonna do what we usually do because I want to get a feel for the game. I want to get a feel for the update. I should say. All right, good job, Mel. Good job. Good job. All right, now let's take care of these hostiles. Now we just took care of a couple. Aware zombies, as you can see, still nothing. All right, as soon as they peek their head, I'm, I'm, I'm taking them out. I'm taking them out, y'all. <laughs> How many is it? Just two. All right, we got him. Popped his melon. Boom! Popped his melon. 
All right, so, I mean, taking on Hostiles right there, I mean, I didn't expect to uh, get a Plague Heart stirring, but, you know, I just want to see, can we just go in and do missions? Mel wants to, oh, no, she's not joining the community. We got too many people here. We got seven already. So, I mean, so, like, I, like basically, you can go into Plague Heart territory you can do missions. Um, oh, snap. That zombie. I just heard that zombie. It made me shake a little bit. But um, Plague Heart is looming. Uh, just be mindful of the amount of zombies you kill. Um, try not to kill too many. But the game will let you know. Um, the game will show you a little notification on the left-hand side of your screen. It will tell you, hey, this Plague Heart about to wake up. You might want to chill out. And when you see that, if you don't want it to wake up, if you want to uh, keep it in its sleep state or its dormant state, then I would suggest you stop killing zombies and get the hell out of the area as quick as possible. That's, that's just my advice. <laughs> but right now, we're not worrying about it. We killing zombies. As you can see, I'm about to do it right here. This dude getting up in my, my face right here. Hold that. Let's get this one. And NPCs, from what they say, cannot wake play cards. Just to throw that in there for y'all. So let's go ahead and tell Mel she cannot join us. And uh, let's try to do this mission here. Let's see what's up. Break all the fences you want. <laughs> play cards don't care about fences. Break all the fences you want. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to these people. Let's see if they're going to give us a mission in Plague Territory because that's what we want right now. We want the smoke. We ain't scared. Okay, so where's it at? Perfect. It's in Plague Territory. That's what we want. All right, so <laughs> as y'all can see, we are going to be killing aware zombies right now while, while Noel searches the greenhouse. Um, we're not hiding. The zombies know we're here. We're not stealth killing anything. They know we're here. So we're going to see. Are we going to wake up play card right now or not? All right. So we got some coming in right there. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to do missions. I mean, this community here is pretty well off. So I hear one behind me. Where's she at? Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, you have to do missions. You know, this community is well off. So maybe I could skip them if I really, really wanted to. But if you're starting with a fresh community, you got to do missions. So you're going to have to go into play card, I mean, plague territory and kill zombies. You know, you just got to be mindful of your body count. That's that's the way I see it. If you see that notification, which we have not seen it yet, and we've killed maybe about three or four zombies. Now five and about to be six. <laughs> and we have not seen the notification. So, again, um. It doesn't seem like it's very easy to wait play cards. I don't know if it fluctuates, if there's other factors, but I've killed a bunch of zombies. I'm doing a mission and, you know, the play card is still sleeping. Noel's whooping ass and we still good. We good? All right, let's get him back to base and uh, carry on. All right, so we're back at base. After we finished with my man, Noel, over there, we did some looting and shooting. So <laughs> we bought the groceries home, as I like to say. We went grocery shopping, so we just uh, putting the groceries away. So um, basically, while we're uh, back at base, a little lull in the action, um, I will say that so far, my first impressions of Update 33, it's definitely going to change my play style to a certain extent. Um, I will definitely say that I can see it changing my, uh, my play style a little bit. Um, I can see going into plague territory. Now, obviously you're going to be a little bit more stealthy, um, just to, uh, you know, not try not to wake any play cards. So going to be a little bit more cautious and definitely more cautious on the higher, uh, difficulties. Um, so let's go ahead and get some power to this base right now solar array which is a cheaper route okay <laughs> so we found ourselves in plague territory again protect protecting 
another person out here in the apocalypse. Um, let's see. Let's see if this is what takes us over the edge. Here we got some screaming zombies. So far, so good. One hit a quitter. Let's get it. Okay. Kate's putting in that work. So far, so good. Kill the screamer. Oh shit. Alright, where's the screamer at? Okay, he oh shoot, it's too real close. Alright, can we get out here? Can we get out of here? Oh, 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 we got one. We got one so far, so good. <laughs> so far, so good. All right, where's another? Let's get this one. Come on, chill out, bro. Chill out. Okay, that's two screams, y'all. We are up to two screams and bodies. Mad bodies. This one got me. I can't keep going. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, so did y'all just see? Okay, we, we got our first notification here nearby Plague Heart Stirs. So that is our warning letting us know that if we keep killing Plague Hearts or a screamer comes along and screams, it's going to be on and popping. Oh, watch it, Kate. God, did she get off? <laughs> watch when you swing at that thing. Now I'm wondering if those screamers like hyped it up a little bit more. Those ferals are fast. Alright, we got a ferro somewhere in the area, so I'm keeping my eyes peeled. We killed a couple more zombies and still nothing. Alright, he's in the distance. We ain't worried about him. Let's get this loader. Alright, he's down. We whooping ass and taking numbers, y'all, and still nothing, so. Uh, we got the warning, so in any other situation, I might have pulled back a little bit. But uh, we trying to play this game in real world view. And <laughs> see what's up. Nah, you can't join us. Let's go ahead and get that. Not this team. Okay, y'all, so we killed that Pharaoh and a couple more zombies. And look, the Plague Heart has awakened. And it's already on attack. It's already sending an assault horde to infest a building near my near my base. So what we're gonna try to do, excuse me, sir. I'm talking here. What we're gonna try to do is intercept it before it gets there. Let's go. Alright, so what you don't wanna do is run them over with your cars. Because as you can see here, we got three bloaters. <laughs> so But use them to your advantage though, you know? Use them to your advantage, just like that. Now that was not a good toss and the zombies were kind of separate from the bloaters so i don't know if that's by design or what but uh we're gonna have to put in the work now we're gonna have to put in the work okay okay so far so good i hate these armor zeds they make life a little bit more difficult and more zombies keep coming to the party now Okay, okay, all right. We got one last ditch effort here, y'all. We got, oh, we got another one. We got one more, one more move. One more tool in my toolbox. There it goes. Let's cook. <laughs> Let's cook. Let's cook. So supposedly, while I handle this gentleman here, in the higher difficulties, the hordes are larger. So, whoa. <laughs> my advice, intercept them when you can. Um, when you can obviously Right now, I don't have a lot of going on so I can take care of these infestation boards. Let's get a better position here because I Don't like uh, Where I was at I can hear zombies coming up behind me. I don't want to get surrounded All right, this gentleman has no manners Jump on my shit <laughs> just, just fixed it sir All right Okay, all right, I think we might be good now. Can we uh, take care of this board here now, finally? Okay. All right, so let's see if we can get through this guy. All right, bro. I'm gonna need you to calm down. Calm, calm down, calm down. Or ma'am, I don't know. Was that a ma'am or a sir? <laughs> all right, so they should be in a good bunch. There we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. If you can get them in a nice bunch, and you toss a little... Molly, I cannot keep this up. That's how you cook a horde right there. 
That's how you cook a whore. No, ma'am. No. All right, y'all. So we have a infestation next to this building here, but it's not your normal infestation. It is a siege site, as you can see here, the orange infestation icon. There's a feral coming in hot over here. Give me a minute. All right, he don't want no problems. <laughs> he don't want no problems. So what I want to do here is I definitely need a ammo outpost. So we are going to, we're going to claim this. We're going to go ahead and claim this. This outpost is secure. Now, usually I wouldn't make an outpost this close to my base, but since we have uh, a siege infestation there, um, I might want to make that a little bit of a defense uh, system. So here we go. You got the uh, infestation bait and we have the landmines. They cost you this. You can see that there on the screen. Um, this one works for about three hours. That's not bad. This one lowers for about 15 minutes. So, uh, like I said, this is going to change your play style. Now, I usually don't put outposts this close to my base. I usually try to spread them out throughout the map to create, like, little, oh, like, quiet. substations so at I can switch out and drop stuff off. Get this close to a but play in Update 33, you're going to have to put at least maybe maybe two or three close because you're going to need them for defense um, to stop infestations uh, before they start. Okay, so we're going to try the zombie bait, which I actually think I just messed up. Um, I think you're supposed to set the mines up and then do the zombie bait so that when they get sucked into your outposts, they get exploded. <laughs> For lack of a better uh, way of explaining that. So I messed up. Now my outpost is infested. And what I did forget to say about the uh, siege uh, infestations is that once they get to a certain point and their screamers set up in the area and around them, they will holler a battle cry. And then that will set off the siege. Okay, that's that's the way I understand it. Um, so we're going to have to put the work in and get rid of this infestation ourselves, y'all. We don't have to put... We're going to have to put the work in. Uh, we have a level one, so it's only like a screamer that we have to kill to take care of it. And that's what I love about taking out infestations now. Is that you don't have to take out all 12, 20, 30 zombies. All you have to do is take out the freak zombies. So it makes uh, infestation cleanup very efficient. Apocalypse. Apocalypse efficient, I will say. So I like that. That's the one thing I do uh, like about the update. Shit, this guy's got a cone head. Go ahead and hack him. I'm going to hack him. Bingo, just like that. So that infestation is clear. I don't have to worry about any other zombies. I like that. I definitely like that. I cannot keep this up. And the uh, special zombies actually drop loot, which is a plus. Which makes you want to take out infestation because you want the loot. You know what I'm saying? Give me the loot. Give me the loot. All right. We'll wait till that man gas. All right, y'all. So it's getting busy down here in the valley. It's getting super busy. A bloater. We got a, uh, we got two siege sites. We have a level two infestation right here that we need to take care of. But I'm so glad we only got to focus on the special zombies. Well, one less special zombie because a bloater just handled it itself. Let's see if we can use that to our advantage here. Okay, obviously the screamers. Oh, shit. <laughs> obviously the screamers were not there. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Look at that. Look at that. The loot gives you four rounds of 5.56. I'll take it. 5.56, five, five, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead and get the scream on because it don't matter. We only got to handle y'all. Infestation clear. Now, we do have a horde. So y'all can see my map here. We got another infestation, two siege sites. Uh, we do want to intercept that horde because we don't want to get it too crazy. All right, so we're going to get them right here. Now watch. Shima is QB1, y'all. Watch this. Watch, this. watch how she lead the horde. Boom. <laughs> Touchdown. 
That's a touchdown. That was perfect, man. Shima showing off her skills today. She's she's such a show off. Shima, you're a show off. You ain't have to throw the perfect pass like that. She's got a hell of our arm, folks. All right, so we gotta get this last guy here, and we we should be good. We got a bloater trying to sneak up on us here. All right, I don't think he's gonna give us anything though. So you see, y'all can see this right here. Level one, siege site. Level one, level one, and the play card over here is up. And he's trying to get our ass. All right, so we're at a siege site here. We're gonna go ahead and see what it's like to take out a siege site. Oh, he almost got me. <laughs> he almost got me. Oh, they almost got me, yo. I got the moves. I got the Barry Sanders moves. Oh, nope. No, no, sir. No, sir. All right. Let's get this fat dude here. Did I get any loot? I didn't get no loot for that. No loot, huh? Okay, no loot. All right, so also what I meant to say, too, is if your outpost is an infestation like we just had in that, uh, you can't use it. So... Be mindful of that if your outpost, outpost does get infested. All right, we got a, got some company here that just will not leave us alone <laughs> at all. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, so we're just basically clearing up the neighborhood here. I have another siege site that I need to take care of. Now, the last one, I didn't get any loot. I um, don't know if that's purposeful or if I it's just the luck or the unluck of the draw, but... Let's see if we can get something out of this siege site here. Now we're gonna go in here real, real stealthy. Oh, I love it. I love how easy it is now. All right, we're gonna see. Oh, fat boy dropped some loot. Nope, back up, back up. Fat boy definitely dropped some loot and it looks like a energy drink and we need it. All right, y'all, so we're getting our first siege here. We cleared up the streets before, but we let them get hot. We let them get hot because I want to experience my first siege. So here we go. We see the siege horde heading towards our base. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back to base and we're gonna get prepared for our first siege. So I hope everybody's ready. Breakaway. Okay, that is not the breakaway fence, y'all. My, my driving is so trash right now. Alright, so we're almost here. Let's go ahead. Now, what I like is the siege mechanics now. Like, you know when you're going to get a siege. You can see a siege coming. It's no surprise. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go right in. Ha, I'm back. How's I'm back. We got a siege, y'all. I hope y'all ready. That horde just arrived. Alright, so you can see we have a three, a level three siege. Uh, We had a level three siege site, I should say. So we're going to get three waves as you can see over here they running down the hill hey yo y'all better start bussing y'all better start bussing i should reload we're gonna get three three waves here guys clip them before they hit the fence they okay, got the screamer there Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> i don't like to toot my own horn but my my shooting is a little on point right now just a little bit all right, so the second wave is approaching. How far out? All right, this is a Screamer, Bloater, and seven zombies. Oh, where's that Screamer at? He's in that group. I'm gonna start clipping him. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Trust me, I don't usually shoot this well. I don't usually shoot this well. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Alright, now I'm missing. See, now I'm talking about that ish. Now I'm missing. Alright, where's the scream? Oh, he's deep. Can I get it from deep? Can I get it from deep? Come on, don't make me look bad, baby. Get him from deep. Get him from deep. Get him. Oh, get him. I can't stop moving. Mm, there we go. <laughs> there we go. We got him. All right, so is there another? Okay, that was it. All right, so, oh no, there's another There's another wave. All right, that one I think has a feral, okay. Oh yeah, oh. Good shot, Georgie. Good shot, OG. So 
Go ahead and burn some of these bastards. Uh, George, you're getting busy. Oh, watch it, watch it, y'all. Let me get down here. Let me get down here. Nice. Somebody's getting to. Somebody's getting to the business up there. Okay, Chris. Now, Chris is the member of the group that y'all don't hardly see because his stats is trash. Let's clean up and see how we stand. All right, so y'all see there we got some influence and prestige. 300 prestige. So I like that. That's the one thing I'm going to be enjoying. Letting sieges happen so that I can get prestige without daybreak. All right, so one of the last things I want to take a look at today is the ability to send out a community member to take care of an infestation. Right there. All right, so we got a siege site there. What I want to do is send someone out. So let's go ahead here. You can scout um, and you can send them out. Now you're gonna lose, you know, some stuff here. Like we're gonna lose one uh, rucksack of ammo, but that's fine. In some instances, you're not gonna wanna come back home. Um, you're not gonna, you know, it's gonna be inconvenient. So you could just send someone out to take care of it. So it looks like we're sending out Ignacio. All right, so we're just, Waiting for Ignacio to handle the business. Or you can meet them there. You can actually also meet them there. And I guess assist them. But, I mean, <laughs> what's the point of sending somebody if, if you know, you're going to go yourself? You might as well just handle it yourself. I hope Ignacio doesn't run into any trouble out there because it is hot. It is hot out here in these streets. I got, like, three screamers, a jug, and some other ish. All right, so what's the cooldown on this? Uh, about 12 minutes. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. At the rate that the infestations spawn, it'll probably be 12 minutes in between anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this video up for today. Um, some things that I like off the top of my head right now. I like how simple it is to deal with the infestations. I like the fact that you don't have to take on 10, 20, 30 zombies. All you have to do is eliminate the special zombies, screamers, bloaters, ferals and maybe if you get a little jug stuck in there at some point another thing i like i like how the sieges are done i like how you know when the siege is coming because you see the siege site you see the levels once you get to that max level you know it's a possibility a siege is going to come and when it's triggered when the siege is triggered you see the zombies coming from the siege site to your base i love that i love that aspect of it I also like how the infestations and the sieges are rewarding. It makes it worth taking on each of these because you get loot for infestations and you get prestige, which I love from the sieges because I don't play daybreak that much or often at all. So I never had a lot of prestige, but now I have the opportunity to gain a lot of prestige uh, taking on sieges and it makes me actually want sieges to happen because of the rewarding system so that's another thing i like um overall i mean blood plague has stepped its game up i mean with this update blood plague is definitely a it's a danger it's definitely a danger it's definitely a threat i believe this is one of the uh best updates that uh undead labs has come out with for the game state of decay um and i can't really even think of negatives i mean the only negative i can think of is maybe over time um that it can maybe become tedious like it was before but i think even now i mean it's kind of hard for it to become tedious because i mean you're getting something out of taking care of them and there's ways to take care of the infestations um with sending out um you know members or even setting traps at your outpost so maybe maybe it can become tedious but um i don't know what we'll have to see down the line the more i uh play i actually cannot wait to try this on a higher difficulty level so overall i'm gonna give update 33 heart attack infestations a four out of five zombies yes four out of five zombies i think that this is an awesome update to the game it definitely changes a lot of aspects it's going to change your play style if you have not been playing State of Decay, I would consider jumping back in with this update. Get back into the game. It definitely changes it. It definitely makes it uh, a lot more fun. And with that, we're going to end the video here. I appreciate you guys coming through today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video if you're enjoying the content. 
Get at me over on Twitter, jhyde201. I'm your host, Jay Hyde. This has been The Hideout. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace out, fool.